as we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry, Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Welcome. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to talk to you this after the call. Your spiritual eyes must be open to see the secret of the wicked. 2017, if your eyes has not been open, you need your eyes to be open to see the secret of the wicked. Because this wicked, the wicked people, they see you. They see you, what you are doing. And now you don't see them. That's why you must ask God. You must talk to your eyes. You must pray that God will open your spiritual eyes to see. You need to see in the spiritual realm. You need to see inside and outside. You have to ask God to open your eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you see, the wicked, when they are doing their stuff, they see you, that's why they come for you. You must have discerning spirit. You have to have discerning spirit. You have to see things in a spiritual realm. This is not... Because, you see, if the wicked people, witchcraft, evil people, they can see you and read you like paper. What about you? Why can't you see them? Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I pray that God will open your eyes and see beyond. Your inner eyes must be opened by fire, by thunder, in Jesus' name. Any brokerage in your eyes I set them fire. I command them to, to burn to ashes. Let your eyes open and see what the evil are, what the evil people are doing. We have to look because they see you. That's why they are fighting you. They see you from A to Z. They see you from, from, from inside and out. They know you. They see everything. I pray that God will open your eyes. Your spiritual eyes must be open to see the secret of the enemy. You have not only the secret of the enemy, to see what, the way God sees. Because God sees everything. And God is here to open your eyes. You remember this man who was with the Elijah, the young man. He, he, he had trouble. He, he, he was feared when he, saw, when, uh, when he saw the enemy coming. But Elijah, he, he said, don't worry, don't worry about, it, about them because we have so much. We have thousands, we have millions of angels guiding us here. So that's why you need, you, need, you need God to open your eyes so that you can see. Let's look in the book of, uh, of Ezekiel. The book of Ezekiel 8 Verse 9 to 12. The book of Ezekiel 8, verse 9 to 12. Woman of God, go ahead and read for us. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 8, verses 9 to 12 read. And he said unto me, Go in and behold the wicked abomination that they do here. So I went in and saw, and behold every form of creeping thing and abominable beast. And all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. You see, and now, good. hallelujah, praise mm -hmm. be the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now God told Ezekiel, go in and see the wicked abomination which they, they are doing there. Uh, uh, the prophet uh, Ezekiel, he didn't know until God as ask him to see the things that is happening there inside. Go ahead, my sister. Amen. And there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel. And in the midst of them stood Jezaniah, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. Then Amen. said of the Amen. Go ahead, then, sister. Okay. Then said he unto me, Son of man, 
as thou see what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark, every man in the chambers of his imagery, for they say, the Lord seeth us not. The Lord hath forsaken the earth. Amen. You see, now the God told Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel Look at what this man are doing in the week. In this, this men, what they are doing in darkness. They were 70. Hallelujah. Praise. They were, they were 70 men of the held of the house of Israel. And they were there who were elders, elders who inside in that place where they were doing wicked. They were crippled things. You can see they crippled things peace and all idols of, of of and all idols the sacred things that elders were doing how they were chanting how they were doing witchcraft how they were calling people in their devil to destroy them now in the dark in the dark because they said god does not see us nobody see us but god saw them and and they opened the eyes of of ezekiel to see everything that they were doing May God open your eyes and see what the, your enemies are doing. And these are the people, the, 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 the house of the Israel, the house of Israel, the elders of house of Israel, Christian people, chosen people, the people of God, whom have, they have seen the miracle of God. They have seen it, but still they, they do abomination things. They do evil, wicked things in the house of God. So in the church where you are, don't think that everyone in that judge is a Christian. Some of them that are wicked. Some of them that are witchcraft. Some of them that are so evil. But when God open your eyes and see what is happening in your ministry, you will know how which prayer you can pray. Because many people, as I said yesterday, so many people are so blind, they have no idea. You cannot be, nobody will cheat you. Nobody will lie you, will rely on you. Nobody will, will deceive you because you will see. I am very happy for our sister who went to a church and before he, he, he suspected, he said, no, this is not normal. He started praying. She started praying. After the prayer, God opened her eyes and she saw what exactly what that judge is doing. Is a mega church, big, 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 big African church in England. Now, after watching this, and then he said, "Wow, is this what is happening in this church?" She said, "Maybe I don't. I, maybe it's me who is wrong. Let me watch again and see what is this." And then she saw a, uh, uh, the wife, the the first lady of that church, cooking food, cooking food, and and putting human flesh and other evil stuff on the food. Now. She was, God was opening her eyes and see what it was, what, 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 what they were doing. In, in, after that, then she didn't know she was new. And then the, the, uh, then the, they had a, a dinner, uh, like Christmas dinner, whatever dinner they had. Now, when, when they, they announced their dinner, because God has opened the eyes of the sister, and she saw what this woman, they have done to their congregation. Now the dinner, the, the people, innocent people, they will go celebrate and they're happy to eat the dinner, but the dinner, they have fixed some evil stuff in the food. Now when you eat, you eat, you are happy. Then you become a victim, or the, you become their victim. And then they will steal from you, they take everything from you. Now I pray that God will open your eyes to see the danger, to see what is up going in the darkness to see the secret of the wicked god is able because they see you they see you so you have to see them too god is able to open your eyes and see what they, they are doing in the dark let's continue read open the book of uh, ecclesiastes 12 verse, verse 14 the book of ecclesiastes 12 verse 14. amen Ezekiel 12, verse 14 reads, For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Amen. You know, for God shall bring every work 
into judgment with every sacred thing, whether it be good or with it be evil. God will bring every sacred, anything hidden. You will go and do things in the sacred you think that nobody knows. No matter, every eye, people have sharp eyes, they see. God has given open people their eyes, they see. The devil also see. You may think that nobody knows, nobody sees, but God will bring it and it will, be, it will come to see. That's why when, when God has anointed you, yesterday, okay, hallelujah, crowd be the name of Jesus. Uh, yesterday, I had a testimony. Uh, there was this uh, 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 a woman who traveled from Nigeria to States. She was a witch. Immediately when she reached there, the house where she was going, a white man came to that house and locked the door and tell them, our, 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 our person has arrived from Nigeria and we are and we, we welcome her here in this uh, in USA. And this woman, that is her first time to be in states. And she didn't give anybody the address. Now the owner of the house was wondering how that this person, this white man, knew that this uh, this woman is coming. And at the same time the woman arrived in the house, that man also arrived in the door. How? Because they see in the spirit that their, their client, their victim, you know, no, no, their member, their members are alive. Now, you, you, if, if, if this woman, if the, the person who had, if the person, is, his eyes was open, he could have identified what kind of the person is coming. You can, you can have your, your sisters, your brothers, your mother, your father, your parents, but you don't know who they are. Some of you, you, you have, your parents are a witch and you have no idea. And they can even donate you. They can even sacrifice you, but you have no idea. But when you have your eyes open, they cannot do anything sacred. You will see, and then you will break it. That's why we pray that God will open your spiritual eyes to see things that the way God sees. In the mighty name of Jesus, because there is no secret that that cannot come up. God will reveal it to his servants and God will open the eyes of those people who can discern and see. And then he will see everything you are doing. When, when, when the witches and wizards occur the people, when they go to a place and success and, and, and destroy the place, it's because the church is blind. It's because people who are there are blind. When a cult person came visited us one time, he when I saw him, he was uh, he was having a, a a bag, and then he put his hand there. He was locking my voice. He was trying to lock my voice. He was he was trying. And then I stopped. I said, "Listen, you wicked person that you have been sent here to come and lock my voice. I am commanding the fire of God to." cut you and destroy you right now in Jesus name. I bind you and I curse you and I destroy every activities that is working here right now in Jesus name. And then he smiled again. I said fire for that person right now in Jesus name. The man ran away. He didn't stay. He ran away because he could not stay in the, in the prayer. Because I, I have identified that the attention an evil person has come here. Yeah. I pray that God will open your eyes to see. When I walk in the streets, sometimes I look at people, I say, uh, 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 I don't want to see them. I just concentrate and looking, going to my stuff. Because you see what, what people they are, what the people they, they are calling. Do you know some wicked people, they, are, they, they put their mark on their face. Some, some you think it is, it is a, 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 people they, they the, the makeup, you think it's makeup. Some of them is not makeup. Some of them, they are the things that they identify you. They see what you, what, what, what you are. I pray that God will open your eyes and to identify and to see every evil, every wicked, every satanic secret that is operating in your life in Jesus' name. Let's go to the, uh, the, another scripture from 1 John 5 verse 19. 
Amen. First John 5, verse 19. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. Yes. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. The whole world lieth on wickedness. The whole world lieth on wickedness. But we know, we know, and we know that we are of God. We know we are of God. Even the, even if the world is light on wickedness, but we, that we know we are of God. We will see their wickedness and destroy them. Every wicked, wickedness of the world, you will see them and destroy them. It will not affect you. That's why the Bible says, no weapon formed against you will stand against you. 2017, no wicked, wicked, no wicked will allocate you in Jesus' name. You will identify them and you will see them and arrest them in the mighty name of Jesus. You will arrest them in the spiritual realm. When they are trying to come and attack you, since you have identified them, since you have seen them, you will block them. What, what will you do when you have seen a thief coming to steal in your house? What will you do? If the thief knows that you are aware, he will not come. He will run away for his life. Uh, those witchcraft, they fear. They have no peace. Wicked people, they have no peace. They live in fear because they don't know what will happen. Before they kill you, before they damage you, before they come to you, you will destroy them. So therefore, I pray that God Almighty will open your eyes and see what the wicked people are doing in secret, in, the, in darkness, in Jesus' name. You see, the Bible says, uh, the whole world light in wickedness. The whole world light in wicked. There are a lot of wicked than good people. Wicked, they are just wicked. You can move to a new place. Nobody knows you. But some wicked will arrest against you for no reason. They just decide to start hate you because they have seen what you have. Even if you move anywhere, those wicked people, they have eyes, they see. They see what kind of a person you are. Even if, even if you move to anywhere, any city, they see you. You need to ask God to open your eyes so that you can see. No, 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 there's no need of moving from place to place. You can live where you are, but if you have the eyes, like the eyes of the eagle, who spots miles and miles, uh, 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 some, something in the miles, it will be good for you. You can also see things, even in, in Australia, and you are here in, here in Canada, you can see things anywhere in the world, and you are right here. You, it will open it like a television. You will see exactly what is happening. It, and it doesn't lie because you see it. Let God open your inner eyes, your spiritual eyes, 2017, to see. These are the things that I want to teach you. I want to pray with you so that your eyes will be open. We have not talked about the, the, to hear the voice of God. We talked about the dreams and the voices and, 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 and the visions. I pray that God, my God, my Father, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, will open your eyes and see in Jesus' name. Let's 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 let's, let's read the book of Michael. Hallelujah! Yes, thank you. The book of Michael, two verse one. Michael two verse one. Yes. Amen. Micah 2 verse 1 reads, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Yes. Woe to them that devise iniquities and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is right, they practice it because it is in their power of the hand. No, you see, those wicked, those wicked people, they practice. They, 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 they sleep in their bed. They are thinking how they are going to damage you, how they are going to do because the, 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 the power it is on their hand, how they are going to destroy. You know, wicked people, while they are sleeping, they are not sleeping. They are not sleep. Their, their heart, their, their mind is awake. 
They are still thinking how they are going to damage people, how they are going to drink the blood of people, how they are going to do their accident. But now you, because they have marked you, they have said so and so, so and so, so, and you have no aware. You don't see, you have nothing, you don't know. When they do like that, when they mention your name, they, you, in, their, in their coven, your name will turn to fire on them. Because you are aware, you have seen what they are planning. You have seen the secret of your enemies. You have seen what they are plan planning even in their bed. That's what the, the king was asking. Who, who reveals the secret, our secret out there? And then the man, one of the man is on, king told them, there is a man called Elijah, Elijah who, who sees things even under your bed. He sees things, the prophet there. So nobody is telling him, he sees. So the way they, they, they do things in their bed, while they are sleeping, they are thinking how to damage you. You will so also you will see them. Then you will come against them. That's how you will prepare your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. We am going to show you the prayers, how you can direct your prayers to those wicked and evil planners who are planning wicked and evil against your life and your family in Jesus' name. We are going to see the book of uh, Isaiah uh, 1, verse 16 to 17. Amen. Isaiah chapter 1, verses 16 to 17 reads, Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes, cease to do evil, learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Amen. Now is your time to wash yourself Make yourself clean. Remove the evil of your deeds from before your eyes. Remove anything that will, will hinder you from your eyes. Anything that will make you not to see, not God to use you. Remove everything. Wash yourself. Let the blood of Jesus wash yourself. Wash yourself. Clean yourself. Remove any evil deeds. Anything evil. Because God cannot open your eyes if you have something evil. If you are a wicked, if you have evil deeds in your in your eyes, God cannot use you. You cannot. God cannot open your eyes. The devil will open your their eyes so that he can use you. So I pray that God will wash your eyes. You have to take action. You have to take faith and action. You take yourself and start washing yourself with the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, wash yourself and make yourself clean. Remove the evil of your deeds. From before your eyes, cease to do evil, run to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring op, bring justice to the fatherless, plead the, the, the widow's cause. That's what the Bible is saying. Wash yourself, clean yourself, learn to do good, stop evil, repent, and ask the Father to help you. Breathe the cause of the justice of the fatherless and the, and, the, and the widows. Help the poor people. Help widows. Help homeless. People who need help. People who need, who need help. Help them. Do good. Give to the ministry. Support the work of God. God will help you. That is how God will open your eyes. Plant a seed. Plant a good seed. God will open the eyes of uh, your eyes so that you can see the right thing. When you wash yourself, you repent, you ask God, my God, my Father, I, I am asking you, Lord, Lord, to clean me, to wash me my eyes. Lord, I'm a sinner. Wash me. Then God will wash you. Take a step of faith and wash yourself. Wash yourself with the, with the blood of Jesus. Wash your eyes with the blood of Jesus. Ask the Holy Spirit to clean your eyes and you will start seeing in the mighty name of Jesus. Terminate all satanic priesthood in your family, operating from those altars in Jesus' name. Learn how to terminate. You, you terminate every priesthood uh, family operating uh, in those altars. You know there is there's some altars in your family. That is so wicked. So when you learn how to terminate them, you will learn how to terminate those altars. Because your eyes is open. And you will see everything that is operating in your family. 
bind and they cast out, bind and they cast all the spirit supervising the altar, the altar in the mighty name of Jesus. Command every anti prosperity altar in your family to die. When your eyes is opening, you have to know, you, you will see like, why is it all our family is like this and this and this? Why is it everything is in our family, something is not right? God opened my eyes to see. And then God will open the eyes and you will see the altar, the altar of poverty in your house. And then you will go to that altar. You command every anti-prosperity altar in your family to die. You speak the prophetic word, and that will be good. That is will happen because if you you pray different prayers, and the altar of, of the the different altar is rest in your family, the altar will still remain there. But when your eyes has been opened, and you have seen what a kind of altar has been has been rest in your family, then you go with that altar. The altar will be broken into pieces in Jesus' name. Fire. Fire back every arrow of spiritual wrecks and raise up an altar for the living God in your family and sprinkle the blood of Jesus. Fire back every arrow eliminating your family idols in Jesus' name. Fire back every witchcraft arrows fired into your life as a baby in Jesus' name. When you were baby, you there's some arrows, there's some things which was issues against you. When your eyes is being opened, you will see, then you fire them back when you were baby. Uh, there was a person who was having, who was being rejected. This woman, she was rejected. I, I think I shared this before. She came to me. She was married. And then the husband rejected her. She was rejected even in the church. She was rejected, rejected everywhere, at work everywhere. Now, when she came to me, she was very sad, very, very, very sad. I used to see a very, very sad woman. She was never loved. She was, she was really sad. Now I asked her, she was explaining to me. She said when her mother conceived her, she didn't like because she was in college, she was in school. She didn't like the pregnancy, so she, she, she wanted to abort her. Now she didn't abort her. Now when the child was born, the the, the 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 nurse told the mother it's a baby girl the woman said said i do, i hate it i don't want to see it she has destroyed my life i i she have, I, 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 I she made me to con to discontinue my college i don't want even to see that thing now that is how the child was grow being rejected even the father of that child rejected the child said you make as to miss everything. The child grow like that. And she was like 30 years when I met her. Imagine from childhood up to 30 years, she has been going through rejection. Now she, she has no hope. She need to, she feel like she want to kill herself. I told her, I'm going to pray with you from day one to up to the, 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 the age you are. Because I saw, I saw that she was rejected. And then I, I, I came against that spirit of rejection. I pray every altar of rejection that your mother built when you were born. Let it catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. I destroy that altar. I break that altar. I command the altar to be destroyed and lend the powers. I prayed for her. That woman, she was delivered. And an altar of rejection was broken and she was set free. Therefore, I pray that God will open your eyes and see so that you can know how to break satanic altars. Ask God to rest and, and, and let stop on problem. Command stop on problem to die. Command every circle. Command every sack of hardship to break in Jesus' name. Declare the voice of the enemy will not prevail over your destiny in Jesus' name. Command every destiny from just to form it your breakthroughs in Jesus' name. Command every voices of the enemy from the heavens, hair, evil forest, forest, occultic, and the land, the sea, under the sea, and, and let them die in Jesus' name. Let them try and die in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Command every bad luck of witchcraft in your family to burn up in Jesus' name. 
every padlock of your family, burn them up. Command every witchcraft hand that carried you as a baby to break in pieces in Jesus' name. Yes, I'm praying for you. Every satanic incarnation pronounced against you, be narrowed, be rendered narrow and avoided in Jesus' name. I pray it is illegal for the powers of darkness to show up where the children of the living God are gathered. Therefore, I destroy all demons and association of demons in, the, in, in your area, in the area right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray every satanic, every, every satanic gathered, gathering, gathered against you, against your life and your children, let them scatter and be bind to ashes in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When they, you know, Ezekiel says, 70 men, they were gathered together. They were sitting together. And they were doing wicked and abomination they, in the dark. Therefore, any dark, anyone sitting together, burning evil for your children, for your family, let them scatter, scatter them, scatter them. I scatter them. I scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every association of demons against your life and your family, I command them to be scattered in Jesus' name. I am asking the Holy Ghost arise in your power and wage war against your adversaries in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, my Father, I want to thank you, God. Oh, God, let God show you. Let God show you where the enemy has kept or buried your blessings. When God opened your eyes, you will see one person was praying. He was looking for a job for a long, 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 long time. He finished the university. He has best papers. He didn't have a job. He was looking for a job. He looked for a job. He looked for a job for many years, like six years since he finished university. Nothing, 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 nothing. Now, he went to the crusade where this prayer was being conducted. And then he, he, the, 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 the man, the, the prayer point was, anybody buried my, 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 my talent, my voters, die, die, die. That is how we pray. Because witchcraft took his certificate and shit on the certificate and, and locked the, uh, his certificate. So no matter how this man would do, he would never get a job. That is wicked. That is wicked. If this man, his eyes was open to see what the wicked have done to his certificate, he could have not wasted all these six years. But now, when the man of God was praying, this man went to pray that prayer point like a mad wounded lion. He prayed so hard, and then he collapsed. He fell down, and then he went off. Uh, after he went off, and then he saw his own, uh, her, yeah, his own grandmother taking that certificate, his certificate, and pull on the certificate, and then tie it and bury it. Now the certificate became useless. The certificate became dead. Now the certificate cannot cannot work again. And then the angels of God picked the certificate, cleaned the certificate, and they give the man the certificate back to him. And then the, the man woke up when the, the, the preacher was saying, in Jesus' name we pray, when the preacher finished prayers. Immediately, when he woke up, it, it, it's when he found that they, they have finished the prayers. Then the following day, when he went to the street, he met his uh, schoolmate. They used to in the college, in the university. He met him on the street. And then he looked at him and said, so and so, are you, why are you looking like this? He said, since I finished the college, I have not got a job. No, I'm a manager director in a, in a company. Come, I give you the job. Then this man went and got a job and he, gave, and he was given a car, a company car, and that is how God delivered that man. Therefore, I pray that any, anyone that has buried your certificate, that has shit on your certificate, that has, has done as attacking your, your career, let them die. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray the Holy Ghost rise and chase away every dog pursuing you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power of darkness transacting your business under underneath great waters, I command them to release your vengeance. 
and the blessings and the glory and ministry and the calling in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will arise and set your spirit free from satanic prison in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that let God arise and set your spirit free from the prison in the mighty name of Jesus. From satanic prison in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that, oh God, my Father, let your spirit come out of every satanic prison in the mighty name of Jesus. I command the, the cataracts in your eyes to get out in Jesus' name. I pray every blind spirit that you have been blinded, let that blind spirit get away from your eyes in Jesus' name. I command judgment of God to fall upon every demon that is blinding you, every blind spirit that is blinding your eyes that you cannot see. Let it be, be, let it catch fire and pan to ashes in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus over your eyes to open and see what the enemy is doing to you in Jesus' name. A very blind spirit in your eyes, let them catch, let them catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Blood of Jesus, wash your eyes. Blood of Jesus, wash your eyes. Let the blood of Jesus wash your eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, I want to thank you for the life of these people. By the power and the blood of Jesus, 2017, it is the year that you cry and ask God to open your inner eyes, your spiritual eyes to be open so that you can see sacred things that you that your enemy is doing to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God and my Father, I pray and declare by the power in the blood of Jesus, let your your eyes be open. Let your eyes to be open. Let your eyes to be open. Let your eyes to be open. You can hold your eyes and say, my inner eyes opened by fire. My inner eyes opened by fire. You, you will be, your inner eyes will be open. Your spiritual eyes in the realm, in the realm, of, in the realm of the spirit will be open and you will see the enemies. You will see the works of darkness, what the enemy is doing in the darkness by the power in the blood of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, right in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord. I want to thank you. Every demonic transaction going on contrary to the will of God for your life, I command them to be terminated in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God will help you and, and destroy anything that is contrary from the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your life I pray that your life is not on sale. Your life is not on sale so that the enemy will come and attack you all the time, will come and find you and get you. You are not on sale in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy the enemy that wants to put you in sale so that they can get you easily. In the mighty name of Jesus, I broke and cast out every evil that is flying to cut you, to attack you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, I want to thank you. Every strange, every, every stranger around you, I command them to scatter and they catch fire and they pan to ashes in Jesus' name. Every strange around you, any evil strange, strange around you, let it scatter and catch fire in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my God and my Father, I want to thank you. I pray that God will connect you with the anointing of glory and honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Let God connect you. Let God connect you to the anointing of glory and honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless your name. I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. You have to make sure that your eyes has been opened. Your eyes has been opened. You've been blind for a long time. You have to be, your eyes must be opened by fire to see in the realm of the spirit, to see in the spirit what the enemy is doing in the mighty name of Jesus. Call upon discerning spirit. You shall be sun and see your eyes is being opened in Jesus' name. I pray that God will help you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isiki, saying bye-bye to you. And see you tomorrow, tomorrow, 9 p.m. Tomorrow, 9 p.m. will be anointing service. Bring your own olive oil, 100% olive oil. Bring your own olive oil. Uh, you don't need to buy olive oil from people. 
go to the store to the mall and get your own olive oil and bring it tomorrow i will pray for that oil you will be surprised or you will be shocked what that oil is going to do the power of the, the power of god will come under that oil and it is going to be changed from the oil to the holy spirit they will the oil will become antibiotic oil it is going to be a oil of healing it is going to be oil of crushing demons it is going to be oil of destroying evil that's what the bible says that oil that jesus christ gave his disciples is the oil that we use I, 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 we are not going to tell you oil and tell you that this is oil is from where 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 the, the olive oil is olive oil and and the, the power of god is the power of god so get your own oil, olive oil and bring it i will pray for you free i don't charge you but make sure to attach an offering that is what i would ask you if you don't have that's fine but you come with your olive oil invite your family I will be doing anointing service from there you will see because you need to go uh 2017 when you are being anointed you are ready and you, the blessings of 2017 will take you will, you will receive all of them in the mighty name of jesus that's why you need to be ready for 2017. god bless you god bless you so much i love you and there's nothing i can do about it our number to call me is 905 seven two seven nine two three seven nine eight our number to call it is called oliver oil somebody write oliver oil yes write for me yes anybody can write oliver oil not not any other oil the, the, that is the oil that we are recommended to use in the bible yes yes oliver oil o f o l i v e o Oliver oil, please. Thank you. Because some people, I don't know. I don't know if it's me who, who does it to pronounce properly. It is olive oil. So please go and get that one. Thank you very much. Our number to call, <laughs> yes, 100%. 100%. Uh, our number to call is 905-792-3798. God bless you so much. See you tomorrow, 9 p.m. God bless you. Love you. Love you so much. And then and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Love you. Bye bye.